Okay, you guys, I'm here to review the Carry Blu-ray. Now, this Blu-ray, it's very well put together, okay? From the slip cover to the back to the picture quality. The picture quality is amazing on this movie, okay? This movie is shot in various forms, different color schemes, okay? You got the daytime color schemes. You have the cool, I mean the school color schemes, and you have Carrie's home color scheme, which is like this reddish orange color, and it is so crisp and clean on all of those accounts. It's just amazing, and it's awesome. The movie itself is awesome. Okay, this is probably one of the well most well treated remakes ever. I mean, this remake is treated with more respect than I have ever seen in the remake, and it's awesome, okay? Now, for your special features, you have your deleted and alternate scenes, of course. I watched the movie with the alternate scenes, because I already seen the theatrical version in theaters. It's still a theatrical version, but you have a choice between theatrical version and theatrical version with the alternate scene, or alternate ending, as I should say. But you also have alternate scenes and deleted scenes. Then you have uh, Tina on Fire, the stunt double dire dailies. It's where they show various stages of Tina getting set on fire, and it's awesome. Then you have Creating Carrie, which is the making of Feature Rhett. And you basically um, get to know the cast and crew and how the movie was handled and stuff like that. It's a good 21 minute little Feature Rhett. It's awesome. You get to know a little bit more about the backstory of Carrie and the sense of what the Kimberly Pierce. I know in my unboxing I said Kimberly Price, but her name is Kimberly Pierce, who is the director of this movie. She had enough sense to not only remake the book for a modern audience, but also hold respect to the original uh, movie. Which I think is Brian De Palma's movie, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. So I like the fact that she respected both source materials. And she didn't just fuck either of them in the ass. You know what I mean? It was just well handled. Then you also got the power of telekinesis. It's a little short little thing. by like four minutes. Not really much there. But the, the biggest surprise about this Blu-ray. Which uh, I know I read it on the special features. But... I knew it sounded familiar was the telekinetic coffee shop surprise. What that is, I saw this on the news before Carrie was even released. What that is, is they set up a coffee shop, they rig it with the remote control tables and all this stuff. And um, they put the actors and stuff in there, and they have real customers come in the coffee shop. And they kind of react to, to a, not a scene in the movie, but like just a, a the carry moment in general and it basically freaks them all the hell out the biggest standout of that whole featurette was the construction worker the look on his face was fucking priceless and it was awesome especially the black lady <laughs> all the black people had a weird look on their face like what the fuck it is awesome okay <clears throat> and then you got your commentary by director Kimberly Pierce and stuff like that you had your theatrical trailers you also have sneak peeks of the Family, Runner Runner, Fright Night 2, A New Blood, which is shit, by the way. American Horror Story, The uh, Asylum, which I'll be getting into American Horror Story anyways. And that's about all for this Blu-ray. And all in all, this Blu-ray gets a B plus, same as the movie. Because, well put together. Look at this slipcover, for Christ's sakes, man. Even the slipcover has some thought put into it, and it's awesome. But, uh, yeah, that is my review of the Carrie Blu-ray. Let me know what you guys think about the Blu-ray down below. You also get a uh, trailer for RoboCop. And RoboCop looks better on my TV than it, than it does trying to watch it, the trailer on a computer. It looks a lot better on, in high definition. So if you do get the movie, you will see a better quality of the RoboCop trailer. You might appreciate it a little bit more. I'm going in with open-minded on that movie. So, yes, I am out.